What's good word guys, Matt here, Country Song Teacher. Hope you're doing well. Guys doing big things in your life. Now this this smile is kind of fake, I ain't gonna lie. I asked y'all my last uh, video to buy me an ice cream while I was on my two-day two day vacation. Nobody bought me an ice cream. So if I sound a little bitter and resentful in this e in this um not this email, this video, it's because I am. But let's put that behind us and let's focus on strumming. Now, if you're like me, when you go to concerts, um, you love when, when somebody just like the artist just sits there with an acoustic guitar and starts just picking and singing a song. What I want you guys and guys out there to be able to do is grab your guitar with any song and be able to do a little bit of finger picking. And a lot of times people think you gotta have this certain little pattern, all this fancy stuff. But really, as long as you know what chords there are in the song and the timing, just like when I say with strumming, the chords and the timing, you can get down and have some cool stuff like uh, I know you loved him a long time ago. And even now in my arms, you still want him, I know. Darling, this time that your memories die. So with little Keith Whitley, Don't Close Your Eyes, one of my favorite songs. Um, but what I want you to do is just start out, let's say, take, for example, the D chord. The first thing when you're learning to finger pick, you want to just do a down four count. So you're going to pick down on the strings. So regular D chord, third and bottom and second string. So regular D chord and pick Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Just use your thumb. Ron, this, this lesson in particular, don't use a pick. I want you to just use your hand. Kind of take your fingers and brace yourself down here. You're gonna do all your picking with your first finger and your thumb. But but at first, let's just use your thumb. So just use your thumb, start at the fourth string and go four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. And then you want to get a steady timing. This is what I'm teaching my um, even my oldest son, Blake, with the piano and everything. Music's all about a rhythm and a timing. So start with that D chord in just four, three, two. One. You want to get used to that. Just doing it down, just doing it down. Don't do anything fancy. No, no kind of, just take your regular chord and do a four count down strum. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. And then you might go down to maybe your C add nine, Lock in the two bottom strings and go fourth and fifth and go five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two. And then maybe G, six, five, four, three, six, five, four, three, six, five, four, three. My guitar is a little bit out of tune here, I can tell. I wish I was good enough just to go. Don't you? Those people just kind of like, listen, I can't do that. I got to have an auto tuner. But anyway. So the first thing you want to do, like I said, take any chord and just do a down strum, a down pick with your thumb. And after you get past that, what you want to do is do it. You want to do a pinch and then down strum. So for down pick. So for example, on the D chord, again, regular D, third and bottom and the second string, you're gonna pinch the fifth, let me, let me hear, pinch the fourth and the bottom string. So it's one, so it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So you're still doing a four count, it's just instead of just picking that top one, you're gonna pinch on the first note. I use this picking pattern a lot. Um, Baby, close that suitcase you've been packed. Just sit down and talk to me a while. Cause I know you try to tell me what we're lacking. But I guess I must have missed it by I think that strumming pattern, a little picking pattern, just sounds so cool when you're just kind of, you're pinching. So what I did there, so you start, you first start out with a pinch, down, 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 pinch, down, down, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. On the, on the CA9, for example, you pinch the fifth string and second string. And still go down four. The 
G, maybe still the fifth. My guitar is definitely out of tune. Note to self, start tuning guitar. Um, maybe that's why y'all didn't buy me an ice cream, because you're like, man, he don't even tune his guitar before he plays. Anyway, um, so then the last thing you want to do is, is you're going to do the same thing. So pinch down, down, but, but it sounds different when you flip up on the bottom. So I just played Travis Tritt, help me hold on. That's what I was doing. So it's pinch down, down, and then up. That's the third and final thing you want to learn with any kind of strumming pattern is you want to do your, your I mean, picking pattern, finger picking. Pinch down, down, and then flip up. Learning that little flip up at the bottom is going to make it, it, it gives it a little higher sound than just picking down. And then after you even a little, a little fancier, what you're going to do, say for example, on that C add nine chord, you're going to pinch the fifth and second. So what, what it is, with each four count set, you're going to pick up on a different string. So, see, this first time I did a pinch down, down, flip on the C at nine. I did a pinch down, down, flip the bottom, then pinch down, down, flip the second. See what I'm doing? I'm alternating which which string I pick up at the bottom. That's gonna give it a little different sound. I got chocolate on my arm. Who's my editor? Cut that out. So, work on that little exercise. Like I said, don't even worry about playing a song at this point. Just kind of. So see it, your homework is just get a C A nine chord, lock in the two bottom strings. This is your homework. Lock in two bottom strings and go fifth and fourth and fifth. You will pinch the fifth and second string and go pinch down, down, and then flip the bottom, and then you can do it again, pinch down, down, and flip the second. So once you do the first initial pinch, then just pluck down. Just, just down with your thumb, so. So on your, when you first go to the chord, do the pinch, then do down, down, flip, down, 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 flip. flip. So guys, there's really, in a lot of ways, there's no wrong way to do this. As long as, whether, when you're on the piano or the guitar, as long as you're playing the notes within that chord, it's gonna sound good enough. So if you're all of a sudden just throwing, throwing a note up here or something, it'll be goofy. But as long as, when you're doing finger picking, just remember, if you're plucking down or whatever, as long as it's within the notes of that chord, you're gonna sound good enough. So, hope it helps you guys. Also, I just saw a guy, right there, Lee, a guy named Lee just wrote me, said, Matt, is your strumming DVD in digital format? I don't have the hard copy. I don't have a DVD player anymore. All my DVDs are in, are in digital format. So most, I would say 99% of people, if you're like me, you don't even own a DVD play, player anymore. So if you go to my website, countrysongteacher.com, and you see something that says DVD, you can get it. It's actually cheaper too, because there's no shipping cost. Or, or, so you can get anything in digital format. My songbooks are all, all in digital format. My strumming DVDs in digital format. My learn guitar, one, two, piano DVD, everything's in di digital format. So it's instantly emailed to you and you have access to it for life. So if you want to get something on the website, countrysongteacher.com. Thank y'all so much for all the support. I love you. I'm kidding you about the ice cream. Even though I didn't get one, I still love y'all. And I might be mad for like this bit and then I get over it and move on because I got three little guys that love me at home, a wife that loves me. And okay, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> love you guys.